Hello, my name is Nell. I'm a SSA dive master and a paddy scuba diver. You might not have expected this video on the channel, but the other day one of my co-workers asked me how I could maintain such healthy hair doing scuba diving, uh, especially because it is true that when I was walking in Malta, my hair got a bit fried by the sun. And now that I'm diving every week-ish on a chlorinated pool, it is a bit dry. Um, first of all, you might notice that I have short hair. Uh, it's not only because I do scuba diving, it's also because I found it more convenient. I shave it once every other month so that they stay relatively healthy and then compared to when I had long hair and they are not as dry as they used to be. And the other reason for them to be so short is that in, in the mask when it's very long it tends to go you know like there and it creates a crease where the water can come in and it's very annoying to have to check your hair and check everything and empty your mask every other minute. I also used to wear bandanas and the good old hood is also a very good compromise if you have loosey hair. Um, ponytails also good idea if you have long hair and that they can stick in a ponytail. As for my hair health itself, I don't use any particular shampoo. I usually use what my partner or sister are using. But sometimes I do henna, which is some kind of old powder uh, that can turn your hair black, gingerish, or um, sometimes just neutral one that doesn't turn your hair any color. It just creates some kind of coating around your the hair fiber so that there are more strengths, I think. So that could be an idea for you if you have time to spare on trying some new products. And when the tip of my hair is very, very dry, I sometimes use some coconut oil uh, because that is a staple on my cooking cabinet. So I kind of smell a bit like food, but nah, that's good enough. I don't use a lot of products on my hair. I know that my mother-in-law buys some food supplements. I think it's a yeast or something that makes your nails and your hair stronger. So that might be something that you want to look into if you're into supplements and that you can remember to take your pills on the morning. And there you have it. This is all I do to keep my hair healthy as a diver. As you can see, I don't spend a lot of energy on it. This is a very short video. YouTube encourages to do a 10 minute plus video, but I don't even spend 10 minutes on my hair on the morning. So if you've liked this video and that you want to see more of that, you can click on the little thumbs up and subscribe. Um, that way I know what kind of content you would like me to do next. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any other tips that you use on your hair. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be interested in that. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.